Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, change the battery over in a Garmin hub speed sensor. Uh, so, first thing you need to do is get your speed sensor, take it off your bike obviously, and just remove the little rubber casing around it. There you go, push and shove, that will come off quite easily. Um, and I've got the sensor this way up. Uh, what you'll notice just here is a, on the back of the sensor a little, uh, know, a little indentation there that lines up with a lock symbol and there's a little unlock symbol here. Now I've seen some videos where people uh, sort of advocate jamming this little uh, screwdriver into this thing here and using that to turn it around. Well actually it's quite a bit easier than that because if you just look here at the bottom there's a little, uh, a little tang there which if you've got a nail or something you can get behind that it's quite easy just to turn that there you go and the battery pops off uh, battery covers contained within the uh, the cover the battery is all in there so you can put sensor uh, aside for a few minutes or a few seconds really uh, next thing you do is take the battery out this can actually be quite tricky sometimes so this is where you need a, just a, a little very thin screwdriver put that in in there give it a push in a bit of a twist and the battery, there you go, should come out quite easy. Get rid of your dead battery, you don't need that anymore. Uh, take your new battery out of the pack. There we go. There's our new battery. If you can't remember which way it goes in, uh, the battery on the back here will have a big plus symbol. You can see it's uh, it comes up on the, on the video. It's fairly standard uh, CR2032. Uh, available in supermarkets, hobby stores, all sorts of places. Really, you won't have any trouble uh, getting hold of those. Get them on Amazon if you uh, if you have, can't find one local to you. So just pop that back in, the new one in. Plus symbols together, same way as you got as you got it. And then just really reverse the process and refit it, nice and easy. So drop that back in there. Line it up with the unlock symbol. Just put a little bit of pressure on, just to push it in place. Quick twist round. There you go. That's locked in. Reassemble it back with the little rubber cover. That can be a little bit tricky. You can see, you can tell the battery's working. You saw a brief bit of flashing there uh, from the sensor itself. Pull that over the loop. There we go. Just give it a bit of a a shove around it will go in eventually and there we go one battery sensor replaced ready to go for your next ride hey guys thanks for taking the time to watch this video why not check out some of our other stuff here on the side and while you're there click the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon to get notified of any more great content from us till next time i'll see you on the road